And today I'll be showing you the guys a simple tutorial on how to make a aesthetic thumbnail step by step. So the apps you're going to be needing for this tutorial are Fonto and Pixar, and I'll link the I'll leave the link in this in the description down below for them. So first of all, go on to Pixar, press the purple plus button on the bottom of your screen, and then go to Drawings. Now go to Pick Canvas. And scroll all the way to the end, so you're like around here, right here. But then it's going to say custom, so you're going to press custom and add thy dimensions 1280 by 720, and make sure that it is a white canvas because that's um, like your thumbnail. And if you want to have like a little part of your thumbnail like white for your text, I suggest using white because it's a lot easier and text originally comes in black so after you've done that just save that and then go to the arrow again and then go to edit image after you've done that just go to sticker and then search for a background so i just searched up aesthetic background and i'm going to pick a background that i would like to use so i'm going to use this blue one right here and i'm going to zoom out like that and then zoom in with my picture, so it's like this, and then press apply. So now this is a background that we have chosen, and if you don't, if you want your full um, picture to show, then just add your image like this, and then just stretch it out. I don't really recommend doing that though, because your image is gonna be so stretched, and you can't really tell what your image is. So after you've done, you done that, just, now go to the sticker button and now we're going to add little overlays so stuff like clouds or like flowers and stuff so i chose these clouds and you can just zoom up until you get something like that and then once you're happy with that just like press apply but since i am not too sure about my um thumbnail yet i'm going to just press anyone on the screen besides apply and now I can click on it and change things around. So now I'm going to go to sticker again and try and find all these other overlays that I could use. So something that you could write is Tumblr uh, overlays. And a bunch of overlays should come up. But you can just write Tumblr PNGs. And stuff like this will come up, things like those and stuff like that. So I'm just going to um, try and think on things that I could use. But I am pretty happy with this so far. So I am just going to continue. And I'm going to find more overlays that I'm happy with. So, and you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. This is just a little example for you guys. But you can copy along if you would like to. So I also noticed that these things are trendy at the moment. So you can have these little like Spotify plays um, on your thumbnail if you would like to. And you can also change the capacity and like make sure if you want it to be faded, the shadow to be faded and stuff like that. So um, just try and find the one that you would like to use. And there's a lot of different things on this app. So it's really easy to come up with a design that you would like so just try and find one that you like and then you will be good to go so i also just searched up like uh like glitter maybe just like search up glitter and you can get all these like really cool glitter patterns so you can just zoom in and then change the opacity so it's like down but you can still see it so once you have your thumbnail ready, just go to next and then save that. So just a heads up, I make all of my backgrounds on uh, Canva and then I drop it to my laptop so I can put all my text onto Fonto. 
But I have recently um, tried out different things on Pixar, and my the thumbnails really um, have an eye-catching trait to it, and it's like really outstanding if you compare it to a like pic collage edit. So I really recommend using Pixar. So after you have done your background on whatever app that you would like to use, head over to Fonto, press the camera button, and then go to uh, Photo Albums. We're gonna insert the photo that we just um, saved from Fonto. Then press anywhere on the screen to enable the add text option. Then add whatever you like. So you might wanna write clouds, and then pick your font that you want to use. And I get all my fonts from defont.com. And I did make a video on that, which was trendy fonts that YouTubers use. So I will also leave that in the link down below. So pick a font that you like. And I have chosen uh, Stereo Flid... Uh, Flidic. I don't know how do you say it. Or Flidic. Something like that. But you now just rearrange your text anywhere you want. And to, if you would like to change up the style of yours, just go to style stroke. And the stroke is the like outline. So pick anyone that you like. And I'm just gonna use black and then change the width. So you can have it like a lot. You can have it like a super thin, medium size. And yeah. So you can try and experiment all these different things. And you can also go to style and go to spacing and clear out the space place spacing so it like it goes across your whole screen and I'm just going to write cloud text and yeah so really it's up to you how you want your thumbnail to be but these are some examples of how to do um, a aesthetic thumbnail obviously this isn't too aesthetic but it's aesthetic enough that you understand what I mean that's pretty much how you make an aesthetic thumbnail and obviously yours will look a lot more aesthetic but I'm just trying to put an example out to you guys but I hope you enjoyed this and this was helpful enough. Thank you for watching.